Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Jeremy. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be talking about eight best college budget friendly restaurant chains out there in case you don't know where to eat or you run out of ideas of places to eat. Then I'm here to share you guys some restaurants that are really good and at the same time is also wallet friendly. Be sure you watch to the very end because you may not have heard of the restaurants that I'm about to mention or not only that, but maybe you know some of the restaurants, but you know, you just haven't thought of it for a while and you completely forgot it exists. So be sure you watch to the end so you don't miss a thing. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jeremy and I do college content videos regarding my thoughts, life, rants, questions, tips, advice, and whatever of the like. So if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button down below. So without further ado, I'm just gonna jump right into the first one on my list. So the first restaurant that's my go-to favorite restaurant and it's somewhat healthy, is Chipotle. Now, if you don't know what Chipotle is, it's like a Mexican style restaurant, like a fast casual dining restaurant where you pretty much pick out, you know, your base or whatever you're gonna get, whether it's a burrito, a bowl, tacos, and they'll serve you in the front where you have choices of toppings and proteins and rice, lettuce, and all that good stuff. And honestly, this is hands down one of my favorite restaurants and you get a lot of like everything, you know, you could get lettuce, you know, corn, sour cream, um, I don't know. I usually get it with chicken, but you could get chicken, steak, and whatever kind of meat they have. And I believe the chicken bowl is only like, what, like seven, eight dollars total if you don't get guac. And they also have chips and guac, which is also an amazing snack if you want to eat it in class or maybe eat it during break and just take it on the go to eat on campus, you know? Probably my go-to in Chipotle is going to be the bowl. And honestly, it just it tastes all so good. And my favorite thing to do is to grab the lid, you know, just put it on top and just shake it before I eat it for like a good 20 seconds. And honestly, like every bite is so good. Restaurant number two for me is going to be Blaze Pizza. I love Blaze Pizza because for one price, you gotta get unlimited toppings of what you want. And they also have different types of cheese, different types of like bread or the crust, whatever you want, different types of meat, different types of protein, different types of, you know, um, vegetables and whatever you want to go on your pizza. You know, everybody always gets to build your own or whatever you want, the two top, the one top. But honestly, the build your own is super worth it. And, you know, I just go ham usually on the meat if I'm feeling really, really hungry. I usually just go for the classic red sauce, the mozzarella on top. And you can also sprinkle some of that pesto sauce on top, which is really, really delicious and tasty. So you better go ahead and do that if you're a fan of pesto sauce the next time you go to Blaze. Then, you know, I usually get the classic pizza stuff like pepperoni, ham, sausage, chicken. There's, I just get a lot of stuff, honestly. Some oregano and sea salt on top. And honestly, that tastes so bomb. Like, I love Blaze. Blaze is definitely the way to go. And not only that, but it is a money saver. It's only like, what, 10 bucks a pizza. It's another, it's another like $2 for a drink, but I usually just get water and Blaze. But yeah, Blaze, $10 the way to go for pizza, man. Number three, I can't miss this one because it's chicken wings. It's gonna be Wingstop. I honestly love Wingstop because not only are they tasty, but they also have like um, the party pack or whatever pack combo they have. And I usually could share that with a friend because it comes with like, you know, I think 12 or 4 13, 14 wings, something like that. And then you could just split the price. Honestly, you get a drink, some fries with it. And, and when you share it with two people, it's honestly enough and it's so filling already. Uh, like if you're not a germaphobe, you can share the drink too, you know, depending on who it is. But honestly, it's super, super worth it. If you don't want to share, you can also get your own portion, which isn't too bad as well. I believe it's like 860 something or 960 something. And again, it's around a $10 budget that I'm talking about. And it's super affordable, a nice little like Nice chicken wings, honestly, after your college classes or if you're just like looking for something to snack on and you have no money in your wallet, you only have like 10 bucks. Go to Wingstop. My personal favorite flavor is gonna be the lemon pepper and the garlic parmesan. Those two are just so good, so good together and they don't make such a huge mess as like barbecue. But don't get me wrong, barbecue is also super, super delicious. But I usually just go for lemon pepper and garlic parmesan as my personal favorite. Restaurant number four, I'm gonna tell you, is gonna be Taco Bell. Now, I know a lot of people have some controversy against Taco Bell saying like, oh, it's really cheap food or, you know, whatever. But honestly, I think the food is not that bad. And especially for the price, it's like killer, man. Like the price is like $5 and you get like a soft taco, you get like a quesadilla or like a gordita and you get a drink on top of that, like $5 for all that. That's crazy. That's insane value. Honestly, if you're an economics major, you better cop that stuff right now. If you're an economics major, you know that's, that's a crazy value, right? Not only that, but my friend and I always enjoy the Baja Blast there. It's an awesome drink. Um, you know, I don't usually get it all the time, but when I have the chance, I get it and it's super delicious. The hard taco there is also really good. And my word of advice is always get the hot sauce and the fire sauce as they're not even that hot to begin with. I, I kind of have some kind of like reaction to hot foods where my hair starts getting itchy, but the sauces there are like nothing. Like just get it, it enhances the flavor. It's super good and Taco Bell is the way to go if you're craving some Mexican food. That's, you know, kind of like low budget, super low budget, but you know, it doesn't even taste that bad. It's honestly super tolerable. Number five is gonna be the Asian food. You know, as you already know, I love Asian food and Panda Express is gonna be my number one option for, you know, budget friendly food um, that I usually eat all the time. If you guys don't know Panda Express, you could have three options. You get the bowl, 
the plate and I think like the entree or whatever. I honestly usually just get the bowl or the plate depending on how it is. I have a Panda Express on campus so I usually just get the bowl and for my base I usually just get fried rice and chow mein half half with orange chicken because honestly their orange chicken is bomb if you guys haven't noticed yet. But yeah Panda Express is the way to go. Just get their you know fried rice and chow mein and either the orange chicken is good the broccoli beef is also good. Kung Pao chicken is also good. Honestly, just naming all these things just make me hungry and make me want to get Panda. In my campus, it's around like $7 or $8 for a bowl and like $10 or $11 for a plate. So it's really not that bad at all. And honestly, they give you really, really generous portions usually. So you could like literally save that for like dinner if you buy it for lunch or if you buy it for dinner you could save it for like the next day lunch if you even want to restaurant number six is going to be chick-fil-a and honestly if you're looking for some good chicken sandwich i love chick-fil-a man it's crazy and they have a lot of varieties and a lot of different options for chicken they have you know nuggets the class their classic sandwiches i think they also have tenders i'm not too sure about it but chick-fil-a is awesome and i love their chicken sandwich especially the deluxe sandwich that's just so good and the chick-fil-a sauce don't get me wrong on that and obviously you can't forget about the waffle fries like the criss cuff fries mm, it's just all so good like grab some of the fries grab some of the dipping sauce the chick-fil-a sauce and just dip it in and honestly it just tastes like heaven dude no joke not only that but again it is super affordable a combo is like what 860 like i said 960 i don't know why i'm saying 860 960 so much i think it's just like the price that it usually costs for food but yeah, that's how much I usually pay for Chick-fil-A and the drive through goes super quick, by the way. I don't know how they train their employees to go super fast. Even if the line looks long as hell, like you literally get your food in like five minutes and I'm just like, hmm, how do these cars like move so fast? Like you compare that to like another drive through like they take long ass time, but Chick-fil-A, fast, quick and delicious chicken sandwich for a low, low price. So Chick-fil-A, definitely up there for me. Number seven, if you're craving some kind of burger, I honestly love the habit. I love their char burger, especially their double char burger if I'm feeling super hungry. Again, it's, a, it's like $8 for a combo. You get the burger, you get the fries, and you get the drink as well. I love the custom made drinks. They have like the peach nectar or whatever. And that's, that stuff is pretty good. Honestly, I like, grab some ice, grab that. It's honestly super refreshing. It's not a soda. It's like, I think they make it in house or whatever. And also whenever you eat the fries, be sure to grab the ranch. I love their fries with ranch. It's honestly so tasty. The ranch is super creamy. And they usually give it in like a big like cup, like a big side of ranch. But if they don't, you can always ask for more. And it's just the burger itself is just super, super tasty. You know, especially if you have the grilled onions in there, like mm, it's just so good. Like you can't miss out on the habit, man. The habit is definitely one thing that you need to visit once in a while because their burgers are just so bomb and you definitely can't miss out. And last but not least, number eight, and I can't obviously leave this one behind because it is budget, it's gonna be McDonald's. And honestly, yeah, I do sometimes eat McDonald's, not all the time, but what I love from McDonald's is the one near my house, they have a two for three deal where I could get a McDouble or a McChicken. Any one of those two, I like to get two of them for $3. And honestly, that's the killer value because I usually just get a McDouble and McChicken. And honestly, that's like the best price that I could get a $3 lunch or dinner uh, you know, if you're on the rush or if you're on the go, if you're studying for an exam, you don't have time to eat out. Perfect. Honestly, three bucks and it gets you full. And not only that, by a dollar, any size drink, like, come on, you can get soda, tea, you know, sweetened or unsweetened, you know. I also love their chicken nuggets with honey mustard, especially. Mm, it's just so good. And their dollar hash browns, their breakfast menu, sausage, egg, McMuffin, you know, if you're on the go, grab that. And then you honestly just said, dude, like, it's just super good in general and you can't miss out on McDonald's. Like McDonald's, who hates McDonald's? I mean, everybody hates McDonald's, but you know, do you really? Like low key inside, you kind of have some love for McDonald's. Like, let's be honest. Honestly guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Those are my top eight restaurant chains here in America at least that I love, love, and are just budget friendly for college students. If you guys did enjoy today's list, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. And if you guys don't know, I do upload videos weekly. I plan to upload maybe Tuesdays and Thursdays from now on. But we'll see how that goes, um, you know, depending on my school schedule and stuff. I plan to push out two videos a week. And again, I'm doing this as a practice to get out of my comfort zone, just talking to a camera and just sharing my thoughts out there. So if you guys enjoyed, again, don't forget to leave a like and hit the sub button. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye, guys.